who do we have here? <laughs> you fall a lot. I don't know all my buddies out there with their This kind of stuff. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm here in Goshen, New York, right in front of BMG Power Sports. And today's a big day. Today is a very big day. Today, I'm gonna have a new hog joining the family, a new hog in my garage. Now, let me give you a little background to what's going on. As you remember with the Sportster, initially when I got the Sportster, we're gonna build it up to do the BDR ride. So, if you've been following me for a while now, you also know that I changed my mind and I realized that I can't really be doing the BDR on the on the Scrambler a Sportster. I don't know if to, to any one of you doesn't know what the BDR, a BDR is. A BDR is the back roads, dirt roads, which is pretty much, uh, so much noise, pretty much uh, back roads, back roads through the country going from New York pretty much all the way up to Canada. We're gonna be uh, traveling, springtime, we're gonna be traveling 1,800 miles one way from New York all the way up to, all the way up to Canada. Gonna be really, really awesome. The whole crew is all gathered up and ready for it. Everybody bought themselves expensive bikes. We have two BMW GSs. We have a Triumph 900, a Tiger, and a lot, a lot of proper, expensive ADVs. So my initial plan was to do the BDR on the Sportster, uh, the, B, the, the modified Sportster. As you know, change that plan and we're gonna get the ST instead. But I am gonna be on that BDR trip with everybody else. And then I got a brilliant idea. Let me see if I can do the BDR on a $4,000 bike. Yeah, guys. Can a $4,000 bike do the BDR just as good as a $25,000 ADV? So today, I'm introducing a new hog into my garage. The Warthog. Yup, take a look. That's Brendan. Look for Brendan, he'll take care of you. Really nice guy. Where's the bike? All the way in the back. All the way in the back. So guys, let me introduce the new hog in my garage. Welcome the Royal Enfield 2021 Himalaya the Himalayan, the Warthog. For those of you that it's new, this whole bike, Royal Enfield is number one selling bike in India. India, a population of 1.4 billion people living in India. This is the number one seller the Royal Enfield. Royal Enfield is a company, if I'm not mistaken, established even before Harley Davidson or uh, pretty much whereas uh, the same time. And it's been selling for the whole time. Originally a British company moved their operations to India. Currently it's in India and it's the number one selling in India. This is the bike that's gonna be doing the BDR. Will this $4,000 bike do it just as uh, well, just as good as the $25,000 ADVs that my buddies are having. It's a 411 single single cylinder ADV. And this thing is a tractor, it's a tractor. The exact uh, horsepower is, uh, I'll put it up here, I think it's around 25 horsepower, but the torque on it, the low end torque on it is extremely, extremely powerful rugged but the engine this engine is bulletproof this pretty much you can take apart this whole engine with one screwdriver 25 years ago uh, my wife and i traveled india for six months on a royal enfield obviously it wasn't the Himala himalayan the himalayan because this is a five-year-old model only we uh, traveled on a, i think it was a 500 or 350 model and that was that was bulletproof we rode it for six months close to uh, I think 15,000 kilometers all over India and it was it was amazing this brings back a lot of memories to me so besides of being such a rugged and good and well-built motorcycle this brings a lot of nostalgia to it a lot a lot of good memories 
So let me do a little walk around the, the bike and we're gonna drive it back. We're gonna ride it back uh, to New Jersey. I'm in Goshen, New York, which is about an hour away. I got all my heated gear because it's pretty cool here today. So they got my heated gear ready for me and we'll take it, uh, we'll ride it back home. So tell you one thing about ADVs and uh, off-road biking. It's fun, now, you fall a lot. I don't know all my buddies out there with their most uh, more expensive motorcycles. I don't know how they'll feel dropping a $25,000 bike in the mud. One thing for sure I can tell you about my, about my bike, I'm gonna beat the shit out of it. Not worried at all. So let's hit the road, take a ride and tell it started up. I'm heading out just to say goodbye to Brendan really really nice guy nice nice doing business with he's actually their top seller he's the owner and he's a really really nice guy gonna get organized now on the bike and take a nice stroll back roads back home it's a beautiful day out so let me enjoy this bike then I'll go immediately to John's and show him the bike stay tuned guys got my little box of goodies Tighten in the, in the back. Still waiting, they just installed the racks. They're gonna have the panniers, uh, panniers. I ordered panniers. I got them from Bl Aluminum Black. So I'm just waiting, should be coming next week. So it's gonna be a proper setup for the ADV, for the, for the BDR. Oh, let's hit the road, guys. See you soon. Okay, guys, I'm almost home. I'm gonna go to John like this. I hope you can get some footage. This is what I got the bike for. Exactly for this reason. Take a look. have here <laughs> hey, <buddy>. <laughs> <laughs> so as you guys see he's stopping by because I wanted to see the bike pretty cool um, Himalayan really inexpensive and he's gonna do the BDR with that that's gonna be pretty pretty wicked <laughs> Bike. Very bike. cool. Very cool. Very fun little bike. Yeah, let me tell you. Let me go get my helmet. Yeah, come on. <laughs> All right, let's take this puppy for a spin here. <laughs> get, getting getting first dip. Right, we're gonna take this warthog. Uh, yeah. <laughs> all 24 horsepower. <laughs> I think uh, I think my lawnmower's got more horsepower than this thing. Not too far. Not too far. Try it out. It's fun. It's a fun little little toy. Let's put it that. Really fun. Yeah. Like the camouflage action going on over here. Yeah. Look at that. Let me see this. How you start this thing up? Oh well, you got a key. It's no fob, dude. Oh. Four thousand dollar bike. You expect a fob? It's nice. I like it.
was fun. It is fun. A fun little bike. It does, you know, it does what it's supposed to do. It's not pretentious. It's not, oh, look at me. I'm a, I'm a GS wannabe. I'm, nah, dude. It's a four or $5,000 bike that puts a smile on your face, takes you where you want to go, and does it reliably and with a lot of fun. <laughs> He's loving it. What say you? Sweet little thing, huh? I say it feels feels super light. It is. It feels light, right? It feels very, very light. It has no power. Uh, it's true. <laughs> but, but it moves. And it's it, nice. Yeah. It, it moves enough. I know. It, it's going to do enough, but it's you could stand up on the pegs. Yeah, I know. Fine. Even me, 6'2", you know, no problem. It's a comfortable bike. The seating position is really, really comfortable. You know. I know. It was and nice. I actually, I actually love the the retro, the retro look. I know. Look, the ruggedness, the the the. It's really nice. The raw, yeah, uh, no, but it's, ugliness. It's, it's not. It's, the the ugliness it's, is is pretty think, ugliness. Nah, I don't think it's. I, I actually think I don't think it's ugly. Nah, I think you it's, know, it's it's it's, it's nice. It's, it's. I think it's a nice looking bike to tell you. The truth. <laughs> yeah. Pretty cool. I know. Good luck with it. Thank you, man. Yeah, but it's really, really maneuverable. There's Silverback, and there's Warthog. And I'm gonna be heading back home, guys. Drive it, uh, ride the bike back home. Clean it up a little bit. Hope you enjoyed this one, guys. I'm Sandy, watching Holy Shift till the next video. Peace out. Bye. Bye. You like it, Pico? You like it? Yeah, I think it's cool.